Welcome to day four of our core church, eight days of prayer and fasting. I get to be day four. I am Sybil Hawkinson, and we are looking at Psalm 127, but very specifically verse one. And it says, unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. I love this because it speaks specifically to each one of us, whether we're managing a family at home, in a new relationship, leading people at work, whatever it looks like. We all are planning and trying to figure things out and trying to build a life. And whether um, we do it alone or we invite God into it matters so much because ultimately he's the one who sets in motion and builds and gives us success. I love this because um, King Solomon is the one who was credited to writing this psalm. And at the beginning of his life, he relied so fully on God. He prayed for wisdom and wealth and God gave him those things because he asked for them. But later on in his life, he got super distracted by his many wives and began following other gods. And God did not bless his efforts at that point. What he was building did not succeed. It says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 7, that no matter who plants or waters, they're nothing. Only God can make things grow. So what are you trying to grow right now? What are the things you're focusing on? What I do, I open my hands and I name those things and I invite God to be a part of them. Um, for me, it's the beginning of school year, so I'm praying about and giving over to God my kids' teachers. Who will that teacher be? What will it look like for that child this school year? And I name it and I give it to God and I ask him to be a part of it. Our finances, I lay it out and I say, God, how do you want us to pay back our student loans? How are we supposed to plan for this trip or this vacation or pay for whatever? Whether it's a chair and band class or a position on a sports team, lay it out, hold your hands and invite God to be the one who builds your plans.